I'll finish my math assignment. We All right, so four you should have you should be on the sex link traits and pedigrees. We watched the hemophilia and porphyria video yesterday, so now we're looking at the pedigree. And this is the pedigree for Queen Victoria. And what is it looking at? Like what kind of disease? Did you find it? My Chromebook's still dead. Oh, okay. Hemophilia. Yeah, we're looking at hemophilia. Um, that's the main disease when you hear about hemophilia, you're probably going to see something associated with Queen Victoria just because it was in the royal family. What is it called? Uh, sex linked traits and pedigrees. Okay, so you've got the pedigree there. And we see Albert and Victoria. And what is Victoria doing in the pedigree? Um, what, how does it look for her? She's a carrier. She's a carrier. Yeah, she's a carrier. How do you know she's a carrier? Because it says that she's a carrier. It's half, half. Half colored in. So half colored in means a carrier. On all pedigrees, it does not show carriers. Sometimes the, the pedigrees just show um, the if they have the trait. So this one does show the carriers. Um, all right, so... If you look at the generation under Albert and Victoria, those are their kids. Which daughters were carriers of it? Alice, Alice, Alice Bert, Beatrice, Beatrice, Beatrice. Beatrice. Yeah. Okay, which son had it? Leopold. Leopold. Okay, and then Leopold, he was the one in the video yesterday that did live, um, and he did have some kids. He died before, I think, the second one was bor born. Um, did he pass it along? Yeah, yeah yes. to Rupert. Yes. To Al he passed it along to Alice of Atheron. Alice. Okay, and then what about Alice, Queen Victoria's daughter? Did she pass it along? Yeah, to, to uh, Fred and, Fern and, then and Fred. Fred. Irene, Fred, and, and, and Alex. 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 That's the weirdest <laughs> Alex I've ever seen. A -L -E well, okay, so a lot of these, you got to remember that they were marrying into different cultures. So, like, remember one of the little boys in the video yesterday was Alexei. So, they have, like, German and Russian and all these other cultures in there. So, it's spelled, a lot of stuff spelled different. Okay, and um, Fred, their son, he had it. So you can see how it was passed along. But look over on the on the left, the first two kids. Did they have it? No. No. So Victoria did not have it. None of her kids showed it up. What about Edward the Seventh? Did no. he have it? No. Yeah, V I I. Okay. Yeah, he did. Do you guys know your Roman numerals? Yes, I do. Okay, because no. on the pedigrees, um, they will label the generations with Roman numerals. So, like the first one will have a Roman numeral one, but, and then it'll show that they had kids. And so this would be the second generation, and then it'll go from there. So this would be like the third generation. Uh, so you do need to know your Roman numerals a little bit. So it's one, one B, two, three. What is four? I, uh, v I. I V. I V. Remember it's that one. five is a V. So one before five and then v -I. is four. Then you got five, and then one after five v -I. is six, six, and then v -I. two after five is seven, and so forth. And then three, and then. Okay. Uh, Okay, so you do need to know a little bit of your Roman numerals for the pedigrees, but you don't need to know an extensive amount of it. All right, so the questions. What are the female chromosomes? XX is a female, and what are the male chromosomes? XY. XY. You can be typing these answers in as we're going over them. Oh, crap. You can't. She's still not charging. Like it won't turn on. You want to write it down on a piece of paper, and then you'll have. You can just turn in the piece of paper. I'm gonna do that. Yeah, thank you for reminding me. I don't think we just had answers with these at all. Okay.
Okay, so female chromosomes, XX, male chromosomes, XY. What does it mean if it is a sex linked trait? Shut the door on me. It's on video. I'm sorry. It's loud. I need you to mess up. Okay. All right, what does it mean <coughs> if a trait is sex linked? It is passed on. Passed on to generations. Passed on. Well, anything can be passed on, but what is. Yes, it's passed on in with the chromosomes. So. Sex linked uh, traits are passed along through the chromosomes. Um, and remember, females have two X's, so if there's a bad chromosome, a bad X, and a good X, then the good one supersedes the bad one. So that's why females a lot of times are carriers. They don't necessarily have it. And that just explained number three. Men will show the traits because if they get the bad X chromosome, they don't have another X chromosome to kind of balance it out. And then number four on the pedigree, um, tell what the following represents. So what does a circle represent? Uh, female. Female. And a square is? A male. If it's half colored circle or square? Carrier. If it's fully colored, they have the trait. And then a blank. They don't have it or we don't know. Um, just because they're blank doesn't mean that they do not have it. They just might not know the information on there. So if you look at Queen Victoria's pedigree, some of those are blank, but we don't really know if they had it or not. Um, we didn't see it show up in any of the kids in the next generation. That does not mean that they're not still carrying it. Just a minute when we're done. Yep.